And on your day read, wow, for the 31st, we got you are seeing this situation correctly. So whatever it is that you're contemplating about, you are seeing the situation as it as it's, as it's, as it's happening. You're seeing it correctly. Okay, um, so let's read. I haven't been reading these. Let's read. I don't really want to read, but I feel like I'm going to read this morning. They told me to pull them out. All right, so let's see what we have for you are seeing the situation accurately. It says, trust your feelings about the situation because they are accurate and valid. Let go of self-doubt and even face others' opinions. Your spiritual, your spiritual sensitivity has helped you see the truth. Although it may be easier to go along with the crowd or to shrink into apathy, you're called upon to, make, to take decisive action. You already know what to do. Even if people aren't supporting you, you know that spirit is. Other people will soon come around to, to your point of view. In the meantime, assume a leadership role. The additional meanings for this card, trust your intuition and gut feelings, ignore critics, naysayers, and skeptics, or skeptics, avoid situations or relationships that don't feel right to you, and only you know what is correct for you. Hmm. So some of you guys really need to focus on being happy. Power of joy was under that. So this is about you focusing on being happy and understanding that you do see the situation correctly. All right, so let's get started. We're still using the um, Star Man Tarot. So this is for Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Summer rising. This is for July 31st, 2019. What messages do we have? The Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Summer rising. The Venus. July 31st, 2018. What messages will God and we have? For Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Summer rising. The Venus. This is for July 31st, 2018. Messages for Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Summer rising. The Venus. July 31st, 2019. Y'all, it is already August. Like this year, Luba. Gone with the wind. We got the three of wands here. Someone has some expectations, maybe trying to have patience with the situation. You could be trying to manifest something new in for yourself. Strength here, Leo energy here. Someone could be needing to find their inner strength to walk away, or someone found their inner strength to walk away. The eight of cups is in the past energy. So someone found their strength to walk away from a lot of chaos, from a lot of bullshit. Um a lot of riffraff in that picture ice ice cold i mean ice and, and fire but like hot and cold you probably walked away from a hot and cold situation where sometimes it was good and sometimes it was trash um in your surrounding energy five of cups there is some disappointment okay someone is crying over spilled milk queen of cups here could be dealing with a water sign or this can be you especially if you have water in your chart this is about making a compassionate decision for self this is about really exuding self-love, finding that inner strength to love yourself. Page of Wands here. This is about seeing new things, being enthusiastic about moving forward. So some of you guys, it's about time for you to really manifest what it is you desire. Your enthusiasm about moving forward needs to be at the utmost. So I really feel like the most compassionate decision for you right now is to move forward. And I think you see that, especially when you're seeing the situation accurately. I think you see that. You're really standing in your truths right now. Look at her. She's like, it's me. This is just who I am. This is most definitely for um, a feminine energy, especially with the Queen of Cups. If not, this is a masculine energy that's ready to stand in his truth about the love that he feels for a woman. All right. So let's get started. The strength card, first card out. So that, with that being the first card out, this needs to be the intention moving forward, finding the inner strength. Why is the strength card here? Could be dealing with the Leo, especially with that page of ones. Could be dealing with the younger Leo. Emperor here could be dealing with an Aries, four of wands here. Someone needs to gain control of some type of family situation move forward. Um, someone had made plans before, but this is about really moving forward. Gaining control, eight of swords, something is keeping you trapped. This is about figuring out what that is so that you can move away from it. Or for some of you guys, you know what it is. You see the situation, you see the situation accurately. Some type of household situation. If not a household situation, it's a family situation. Some plans that you made with someone else are controlling your movements forward. So this is for some of you guys, you're the one controlling someone's movement forward. But this is about really gaining control of those plans and really alleviating yourself of that so that you can be free of whatever's keeping you in bondage. So with the eight of cups in the past energy, why is eight of cups here? I just ate a cups here. I just ate a cups here. I just ate a cups here. Tower here, Ace of Pentacles, yeah. So someone here realizes that they have a new opportunity in love, but because they went through an emotional growth, someone had to walk away from the situation to see clearly what this new opportunity in their life for. 
what this new opportunity in their life is. But with the two of swords underneath there, I feel like you may have blocked this before. You may have blocked um, this movement because you had to walk away from a situation or because someone else had to walk away from a situation. Going from the eight to the nine of cups, someone walked away, went through their emotional growth, and now they see what makes them happy. And whatever makes them happy is like a whole new life. It's something totally different than what they've been experiencing. So with the five of cups and the surrounding energy, there may be some disappointment or a, a, a feeling of loss. Lover's card, knight of cups, someone has to make a decision to balance their emotions moving forward. There could also be an offer here. Temperance here to work things out. Someone could want to work things out because of some disappointments around a situation. The thing that I'm getting with, with that, now some of you guys could be making a decision to make an offer to either a Sagittarius, a Gemini, or this could be you if you're the Gemini, or somebody could be making an offer to you but needing to really see their pers There's some regret. I feel like for some of you guys, you're finding the strength to walk away from the situation and you're having regret that you didn't make this decision sooner. Um, some of you guys can be moving toward a Taurus. I feel like there's a decision to commit to something. You're making an offer to commit to something. And it's time, divine time in here. King of Wands, someone is most definitely focused. But I do feel like there is some guilt or there are some disappointments. Are you kidding me? There's some guilt. There's some disappointments about moving forward. So with the Queen of Cups here, how's this Queen of Cups here? Star energy here on the right path, Wheel of Fortune. I feel like there may have been resistance in the past. Seven of Wands, Three of Wands, I feel like that is in. The resistance was a burden. I feel like someone's laying down the burden of resisting this connection or resisting what they feel within themselves. Someone could also be taking back their cup, really being nurturing themselves, wanting to change and get on the right path. So someone here is really thinking about how can I make a decision that is loving to me? And by making this decision that is loving and, and in the right vibration, Queen of Pentacles, a compassionate, loving decision for self. Star energy here, Wheel of Fortune. This could be an Aquarius, or this is someone that is deciding to move forward. Um, three of Wands to manifest in what it is that they desire or manifest in a new life for themselves. With the Seven of Wands and the Fool, I feel like someone is no longer resisting. They're standing up for themselves, and they're taking a leap of faith. Um, someone had to grow emotionally, and I feel like the, the growth has happened. You could be dealing with a Leo, and this is about finding the strength to take control of this cycle. So with the page of wands here, why is this page of wands here? Eight of wands with the ten of cups. Someone's moving toward emotional fulfillment, making a decision to really stand in their, yeah, someone's laying down the burdens. So what what's, what I'm seeing, ten, ten, to tens, there could be a relationship that has ended. Um, eight of wands, there could be some communication about it. Someone is being honest. It, it's almost like someone was not being true to themselves before. They were lying. Um, I don't feel like it was a lying to hurt anyone, but I feel like maybe a lying to protect. Because here, it's like you found the inner strength to choose what is best for self. Ten of Cups, Ten of Wands, laying the burdens down of a relationship, and Eight of Wands moving forward. Someone wants to be emotionally fulfilled, um, and they're looking within themselves, really identifying their own value. Page of Cups, Page of Wands. I mean, Page of Cups, Page of Pentacles. Judgment. Someone's awakened. They realize they have the potential to manifest what it is they desire, but in order to do that, someone had to walk away from a situation that maybe they were holding on to selfishly out of fear. Not selfish is like they were receiving anything, but out of fear of moving forward. So there is some disappointment. There's a feeling of loss here, but I do feel like this is it's necessary. So let's see what the guidance moving forward is. I feel like now you're standing up for yourself. This is this is really good. Manifesting things in for self. So what messages do you have for my air signs? Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Sun, and rise, and Venus. All right. So we have go outside, endings and beginnings, and the arts. Yeah. So someone is expressing that they want out. Um, with go outside here, it could represent needing to go out, needing to connect more with the earth. Um, Maybe you've been stuck in, indoors too long, but for some of you guys, you've been stuck in this situation for too long. In the situation, there's an ending. Kali is here. Kali is the goddess of destruction. Um, so this is about releasing the old because she destroys in order to rebuild. It's not like she destroys and just leaves shit in chaos. She destroys so that things can be built back in a solid foundation. 
here you've been stuck in a situation that has not been solid for too long. There's an ending to that. The old must be released so that the new can enter. You have to express yourself. Some of you guys, this is going to help you express yourself in a creative way. With compassion as an underlying energy, you do need to release judgments about yourself. You need to release judgments about others. Focus on the love and light that is within everyone. But the situation, you are seeing it accurately. This is all I have. Until next time, y'all.